Okay, I'm coming up on the right turn. Fargo Jet Center is what this says right here. The sign out there said it was Weather Modification Inc. Right turn at point three miles, 20th Street North. Fargo Jet Center, Fargo Jet Center. Okay, we're gonna go and see you. I'm gonna go in and ask these people. I'm just going to play it nonchalant, like I'm just wondering what they do. Hopefully, right turn. Street North. somebody will talk to me. <clears throat> Passenger terminal. This is like a... Okay. I am here. Approaching destination on the right, 20th Street North. You have arrived. All right. Fargo Jet, shipping and receiving. I saw a sign out there that said Weather, weather Modification Inc. There it is right there. Okay, let me go ask some questions. That is right there. There's the chemical tanks right there and whatever that thing is up there. Okay, all these trailers are weather modification. They said it on the side. Weather modification ink. So it says on there. And I'm kind of paranoid with a camera out here. That that's something right there, and all these all this weird stuff is for the weather weather modification. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. How are you doing? Good. My name is Doug Fisher. Johnny Fisher. Are you one of the pilots that does the weather mod? Yep. Yeah. Sure. Now, can you would you like can you be in a video of me? I'm doing a documentary about what you guys do. Can okay. you just tell me what you do? I can't okay. be in a video until I get approved by somebody else. Oh, you gotta get approved. Yeah. Here. Okay, I'm only here for like a couple hours. I can't, actually came from, well, not came from working to do this place, but I'm passing through. Okay. And I, it, it intrigues me that you guys, um, what you do. Uh, flying it, through thunderstorms. So is that what you do? Yep. So you fly an airplane that has a chemical attachment things? That yep. We use silver eye that. Silver eye that. Yeah. Right. And the mount we're using over the area that you use, you'll never find it in the back, right. you know. Um, no, what, but, what it, but it burns and it's a, when it burns, it burns into a crystal form. Mm -hmm. and it looks just like an ice crystal. So when right. you put it in the cloud, the water says, hey, it's one of my own, and it attaches to it and freezes. Okay, so it makes so it, it makes clouds basically. No, it makes ice. Oh, so it makes ice. Yeah, the cloud already has to be there, the water has to be there. Right. So the ingredients have to be there, but sometimes the ingredients are there, and in the natural process, it doesn't multiply and get going, so then nothing comes out in the rain, the snow, whatever. Right. So, so are there, is there currently projects going on in the United States right now? Yep. We there have is. a project in North Dakota for rainfall enhancement and hail mitigation. Really? Minimizing the effects of hail. We have one in Calgary. So you, you can stop hail, is what you're saying? Minimize the effects. Minimize the effects of hail. Yeah. Make it small. Yeah. 
But so can you can you cause uh, it not to rain too? No. Yeah, not my experience. So, but what? The Chinese say they can. I don't know that they can. Yeah, yeah, because the, the Olympics. The Olympics, yeah. right. So you know about that. Yeah. They said they stopped the rain. Yeah, well. So we, we haven't perfected that in the United States? No. Or you guys haven't? Well, we haven't. I don't think anybody has. In really? the world. The Chinese say they do, but scientifically, when they explain it, it doesn't make sense. Right. So when, so, you, get your, when you get your orders, you just fly where they tell you to fly, right? For the most part. I mean, we're when we're working, we're on a contract with somebody, a state government, a state entity, a foreign government, right. or a water district you know, that has hired us. So we have an area that we can only fly in. Right. So whatever, whatever, area, whatever, 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 your, whatever, whatever your project area is. Right. And so you get, you get contracts from the United States government, right? No. Nope. Oh, you don't? No. Nope. But other gov governments, uh, uh, other countries? Yeah, like counties. Like in North Dakota, there are four counties that get together, vote uh -huh. on it, levy their taxes, and then the state, through the state of, the, of North Dakota, they also get a little bit of funding. I think it's like 10%. Really? And then that's it. And they, they pay for it themselves. Um, so the like, county, the county, the state the county, government pays for it. The counties pay for it by by voting on it and levying mills. Really? To get taxes. Yeah. There. Wow. Now some places, a water district, will take their, I don't know where their money comes from exactly, but like a watershed area. Right. And they'll take probably taxes as well, and they'll set it up, vote on it. Yep, we're going to do this project. So some they, places are power companies, like hydro water. Companies. They'll pay for it themselves. Right. And Calgary, an insurance company pays for it. So I saw a, a thing out there. You have the line ones too? The, the, yep. That yep. one out there that's that I saw in the parking lot. Yep, that's for um, uh, for snowpack in the mountains. Really? Set up, up in the mountain where the, uh, you get the absolute wind. Yeah. Yep. And I'll blow the silver right out yep. I, I saw a thing in Shasta County, California. Uh, Mount Shasta. Um, I'm not sure, but it's in California. Yeah. Right below Mount Shasta, you ever hear about that? It, there was a big thing about it that the people, the residents were saying, hey, what, what are you people doing? You know what I mean? You know, I don't know if it's through you guys or. No, that we're in Shasta. Right, that that part. What city is that near? Uh, or be the Redding. Country? Redding, California. That's north, right? That, yeah, north of California. There. Yes. We're up there. We're in. So is there other. other we got things? contracted in Sacramento. Oh, you did? Down there, for, but that's for snow pipe up near Tahoe. Right, to, yeah. to make it snow more, get more snow pipe, yeah, right? so that their watersheds and their their water levels will fill up. Yeah, so silver iodide, that's what you guys use? That's the yeah. only thing you guys use? Yep. Okay. All right, that, that's great. Thank you, sir. I appreciate um, it. If you want more technical information yeah, what can about you it, like science stuff, I can give you, this is our scientist. Okay. Bow. I just happened to have one, so I thought I'd bring it. But uh, his right. name is Bruce Bow. And, and this is not a website? Yep. And that's an email. You can email him, tell him who you are, and you're looking for some information. He can give you the scientific, technical information. Okay. That, uh, if you're looking for that kind of stuff. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I will uh, definitely be running around here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I can, I can. These, these guys are taking a radar down and changing it out. So is this your radar on top here? Yeah. Oh, so that's for you guys. This yep. one here. Yeah. Okay. So, thanks. Yeah. All right. I hope you heard all that because he just got done telling me they're doing it for sure for real he's a pilot and he says it's silver eye dye but i don't believe that I, I, I believe he don't even know what he's carrying that's what i believe there's a plane coming in it's a private one though